Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this short video I'll show you how to deal with armor tyrannid um, terminid targets. Because the missions are pretty straightforward. You just need to locate the targets and exterminate them. The first part teaches you to complete exterminate charger missions. And the second one exterminate the bile titan ones. The chargers are not so scary after you dealt with a few but the bile titans are a living nightmare. From challenging difficulty up, you start getting missions with both these enemies. Ideally, you have an expendable anti-tank, a recoilless rifle, railgun or a spear. Too bad the grenade launcher is ass against those guys, because the grenades ricochet of their kittenos exoskeleton and explode somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I wish there would be some upgrade to that weapon that makes the grenades explode on impact even if the grenade hits some bug armored part that is angled. But I digress, let's start with the chargers. You deal with these armored bulls with basic weapons, if that's all you got, no problemo. It takes a while though, and if your squad doesn't hit it in the butt, it takes way longer than needed. You just need to dodge their charge and plant some bullets in their butt, rinse and repeat. The cool way of dealing with this is to shoot one of their legs with a railgun for example. People tend to go for one of the front legs because the beast runs towards people so it's easier to shoot it. Pro tip here, if you shoot one of the legs and have a teammate nearby, shoot the one that's towards that player. Brush tactics. But you need something to break that armor first. Underneath the armor is the Achilles heel, I mean charger seal. After that you can swap to any weapon and you do bonus damage when you hit his juicy meat. Auto cannon sentries kill them in a couple of salvos also but I don't really like the sentries anymore because they are destroyed even by wet fart in this game for some reason. I suspect rocket sentries also work, but I never tried them. And this is pretty much it with these guys. Their point in the game is to distract you while you get swarmed by small sh**. Don't let that happen. Brush tactics. The same goes with the bile titans, but it's even worse. Because stuff spawns around them all the time, and they are much harder to deal with. The weak spots of these guys are the yellowy green parts, the underbelly and the mouth. Everything else is heavily armored and they move a lot, so it's hard to shove a rocket or something in their mouth. This is why I love to use the railgun against them too. I know that's level 20 unlock. As I said, this is the most convenient support weapon for me because I can reload it on the run, doesn't take a backpack slot and doesn't require a teammate to help me reload faster. And it's instant. Everything I mentioned uh, in the charger section also works. Expandable anti-tank, requires rifle and spear. I haven't used spear yet but I hear it pops the armor plates on top of the titan. Then you can one shot it with a railgun orbital stratagem. I tend to use laser to finish it off because as I said, the titan doesn't come alone and the laser deals with the ads after the titan dies. It is cool that it prioritizes big targets first, so don't worry if you throw it near a lot of small bugs, it will go straight for the big guy and starts cooking him alive. So to be honest this is it. In reality you can only do it by the book when you open against him because after that it becomes chaotic. Someone kites him staying at a decent range while everyone else unloads in the weak spots and clear the swarm around the bile titan. If he gets to you he will use acid spray ability usually instantly killing you. Or a fast stab with one of his legs. Both his attacks can be dodged. And this is pretty much it. Now go liberate the terminate sectors and be prepared to use every weapon at your disposal against these fellas. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care and see ya.